it's just like what and then people say stuff weird to me and then it makes me think bro that just makes you look weird that you're saying that <laughs> you know what i mean oh my god the amount of weird comments and like the weirdest sh that people have said to me because i'm small it's like mm. the height and like the body like the height like it just totally like fucks with people sometimes mm -hmm. To the point where it's like they say the most off hands like i literally had okay i've had like two separate instances one mm -hmm. someone was like someone straight up told me oh you can never be sexy because you're small you're I've always heard that. Just i've heard that too cute. you will never be sexy mm -hmm. you will never be beautiful you're just gonna be Oof. cute and i'm just mm -hmm. like what the fuck? And yeah then, i've heard that and then i had somebody straight up tell me that when they look at me and when they talk to me, they feel like a pedophile. And I was just like, oh, so I've heard that too. Yep. Oh, and I'm just like, do you know how and weird like, that makes you look saying that shit to me? Right. Like they see anything short and they're like child. And I'm like, Ooh. yeah, because they're like, you're so short Ooh. and your voice is really high. And, and mm. you just don't look like an adult. And I'm just like, what? What are you oh. talking about? I mean, here's the other thing, though. Younger girls nowadays are really for a while, they've all been like, not looking their age. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. there's a lot of, I think, I think young people not doing right with trying to look their age. And I think like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look a little older, wanting to look a little more mature, but I see 16 year olds and younger out there with fleeky eyebrows, you know? <laughs> and like, and like they're wearing clothing that just doesn't feel, it just doesn't say teenager to me. Mm. They, uh, they're really good at glowing up, like straight up. Like they, they genuinely look good, but it's also too mature, I think. Yeah. And I think the lines between like, like what ages are supposed to look like have gotten really blurred. So people just, I don't know, their brains are just like, oh, if there's oh. like a switch, like little kid, adult woman. And I think if you're not wearing like a bunch of makeup and looking like you're trying to look older, they think that automatically makes you look younger. Well, that's why like I started wearing right? makeup. Mm -hmm. Cause I wanted to look I, older and yeah. I'm like, well, maybe if I wear makeup, people will like take me more seriously. And mm -hmm. it was true. People took me more seriously when I had a more like mature yeah. looking makeup look on my face. It's true. I used to do that for work so that, you know, people, I wouldn't walk into a room of people that like don't know me yet. And they wouldn't immediately treat me like, like a kid, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was like night and day. If I had makeup on, they just like, I wouldn't, I still would look younger than I was, but not like that much younger you know what i mean so they wouldn't they wouldn't question it but um but if i like didn't wear much makeup or any at all they'd just be like "Ooh, who's this sassy lost child you know <laughs> people don't respect you at the our height level it's it's just how it yeah. is i've received that treatment yeah. my whole life like people just and and it sucks because like you just want people to, <laughs> to treat you normal but mm -hmm. it's like you're always cute know. you're like they treat you like a kid mm. they treat you cute and then they act weird yeah i don't know how to describe it they just act and weird it's, they just act happens weird a lot. yeah i can't mm -hmm. i can't describe the way people act but it's just weird that's all i yeah. can say about oh, it here's a good one someone in chat said has anyone tried to pick you guys up i had a short friend say so people oh do it all the time God. they think they're allowed to touch you because you're short they, they think they're allowed to pick you up they're allowed to like touch your head even asking permission yeah and never touch somebody's head you don't walk up to somebody imagine someone your height or taller you just walk up and put your hand on their head oh. nobody does that but but if you're shorter they'll just like start reaching for it i'm like whoa I've had That's people gross, yeah. you know, back when I was in school, like, mm. you're gonna laugh. Like, the most cliche. Yeah. I used to get cabadoned <laughs> because people people oh, would, like, tower over no. me and they would, like, cabadon me. Oh, and I'd be like, yeah. without no prompting, no asking. It was just, oh, it was just in like, my animes. Yeah, and I'm just like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> it's weird. No. You know, I, I, I couldn't stand it. I think one thing that always annoyed me. So not, this wasn't always the case, but sometimes guys who were shorter would treat me like I was their only hope. You know what I mean? You ever like stand around in a group? <laughs> it's running. Oh my God. You ever yes. stand in a, around in a group, there's a bunch of dudes and one's really short and they just immediately magnetize to the shortest woman there. Especially yes. the shorter you are, the more they treat you like you're short because they never get to do that. Yes. You know what I mean? And oh I'm like, God. you don't gotta do that to some person. You, you just, could you could express it. You could be like, it's kind of nice because I'm short and I don't see it often. You could say that and it would be totally fine, but they never say it like that. They never you know say I mean? it like that. They always make it seem like mm. not like something else. And it's just like, come on, mm -hmm. man. Like, what yeah. the? And like, I would never have a problem 
with them having been short if they didn't do that. <laughs> and now, now I'm pissed, you know? <laughs> now I don't like it. I don't like it, and I don't want it, so leave me. <laughs> that shit was always so weird, man. I never knew what to weird. do. Yeah, you just, you just, it, it just gets to the point where it's like, you don't know how to act, and you don't know what to do, because mm -hmm. people just act so strange around you, and it's because they just don't know how to act around people of your stature. They just don't. I think I people do this with anyone who's different. True. Anything is different, and they feel the need to, like, outwardly notice it. But you're, like, so short. Or oh, they just automatically oh, put no their idea. arm on your head up. all the time. I, I, I am not, I'm not a touchy person, dude. If someone does that to me, it's, it's like, the thing I, with I have, me, I take it as a pass to do whatever I need to do to make that person stop. You know what I mean? The thing with me is like, I grew up, um, you know, Latina, Latina mm -hmm. household, La Latin people, Latino people, like we, we are touchy people. Everybody is mm -hmm. touchy. Everybody's touchy like that. But I, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like it, but. I don't like it without permit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, if I know you, if you're my friend, sure, it's fine. We could be whatever. But if I don't know you, and if I'm not comfortable or close to you, what gives you the right to do that to me? You know what I mm -hmm. mean? It's like, I wouldn't do that sh you. What the f*** is going on yeah. here? And it's like, yep. I, they because of me being small, it's like, it, they automatically, it automatically gives them a pass to, like, treat me like a stuffed animal or, like... Mm -hmm. Some sort of like doll or a toy or something and it's just like Jesus Christ. Like yeah. do not put your hand on my head. I am not a, a arm rest, you know? And like then if you like say something all the time. Because yeah. you're Latina and you're around like people like that are very mm. open to like touching and stuff, they're like, damn, what's wrong with you? What the f you're so fing rude. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. And it's like Same same with my family. They're like, What's the problem? That's your cousin or like whatever and I'm like, that's uh, no. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, so it gets to a point where it's like, that keeps on happening. So I just don't say mm. anything. I'm like, haha, yeah, yeah. But inside, mm -hmm. I'm like, and losing my shit. Yeah, yeah. And that's like a bad, bad thing to build up in someone, right? To like make them habitually like not, not act upon feeling uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Stuff like that. I don't know. People should learn to like advocate for themselves. And if you, if you tell them, oh, it's fine. It's, you know, whatever. It's oh, your grandma, well, it's your grandpa, you know, whatever. Real. It just, it just reinforces them not advocating for themselves when they're in other situations later. Well, you know, I have to be nice because, you know, 